Hello, this is my second post on codefail.wordpress.com Today I'm going to try and um, implement uh, the Fonga plugin with the callback context uh, functionality because I need to the native Java code to trigger some updates in the PhoneGap uh, JavaScript environment so results from the native code can be saved in the database uh, using the PhoneGap uh, DB interfaces uh, so I'm going to use the official uh, documentation in the Apache Cordova website, the PhoneGap website and uh, I'm doing this now for the first time so it might take me a while if you want to see the final notes, final results go to the web post, it will be added to the notes in the YouTube video okay, what am I seeing? plugin development guide blah 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 blah, blah. This guide will go through each step and say blah blah blah, echo plugin. The echo plugin will pass the string from JavaScript and send it into the native environment for the supported platforms. Native code will then return the same string back into the callbacks inside the plugin JavaScript. Okay, sounds good. The guide give anyone the necessary overview and level of details to write more complex plugins. Excellent. The entry point plugin is JavaScript. The reason developers use Cordova is so they can use and write JavaScript, not all the rest native code. JavaScript interface for a plugin is the front facing and arguably most important part of your program plugin. You can structure your plugin JavaScript however you like. The one thing you must use to communicate between the Cordova JavaScript and native environments is the Cordova exe function. Okay, I guess this is JavaScript code. So I will call, I guess, some class name service. This is argument. I guess, like, if you want some different uh, usages in the exe. Okay, you have one exe to communicate. It's a function. So I guess we will have a switch case inside this JavaScript function that holds that uh, uses this argument know what we are looking for and these are the arguments like in a normal function the parameter ah here's this explanation let's read the function win param success callback okay error callback okay service name to call into the native side this will be mapped to the native class more on this in the native guide below okay I guess this is the name of the function or something Action name call into. This is picked up by the native class issued by exe call and depending on the platform essentially maps the class's method. For more details, please check out the native guides and arguments. Okay, so I'll have this call to have a plugin JavaScript example. I have a pointer to this function, it gets us here and callback. Uh, when finished, uh, Cordova exit callback function error uh, callback nothing to echo. This is the error function, and this is success function, and this, these are ah, this is the service name, this is the action string, and these are the arguments. Okay. And let's dive into this. The plugin attached itself to window, specifically to the echo function. Plugin users would then use it as follows. Window echo. Mm. 
window echo function this is the success function I guess and we will succeed if they are equal to the argument ok so we are sending echo me to the plugin and when the success function triggers we will compare it to the result to echo me string ok first let's take a look at the last three arguments to the exit function we will be calling echo service requesting the echo action and passing an array of arguments ok success callback data da, reference data da, native ok I am developing under Android so let's read what to do under the Android code writing the plugin requires an understanding of the architecture da, da, da. Plugin process at least single the other class, blah, blah, blah. Mm. In addition to this, there is a best practice that the plugin should handle powers and resume events and should handle messages passing between plugins. Plugin, there is long running request, background activity. This sounds like something that I need to consider because I am doing this. The plugin will trigger some activity that will probably take a very long time, some like 20 minutes or so so I should pay attention here listeners our internal state should implement the on reset method as well the method is run when the web view navigates to a new page or refreshes which loads the javascript ok, you don't understand it quite well we are and do this later Plugin class mapping. The JavaScript portion of a plugin always uses the Cordova exit method. Exit data. This will marshal a request from the web view Android native or less down to calling an action method on the service class with the argument passed in the R's array. Whether you distribute your plugin as a Java file or a jar, I'm going to do it in a Java file. The plugin must be added to the config XML file. XML. The service name should match what you use in the JavaScript execute, and the value will be the full name of the Java class, including the namespace. Without this added, the plugin may compile, but will not be reachable by Cordova. Ok, so let's do this first. I will copy this function, this uh, line. Open my Eclipse project. Uh, I will go to the res xml config file. And the... Uh, oh, there are lots of plugins there. <coughs> Ok, so the service name will be uh, mm, I will call it uh, mm, mm, I will call it uh, phone the interface because I would like to do many things here and not just to echo or run something so what's the value? full name including namespace let's see I guess it's the name of the class that I will create so I guess I will put it under com that nova top that uh, on okay You know what, I will call it my phone interface. I guess it's bad. Okay. Writing in under Java plug. Okay, this is probably the job code. We have JavaScript to fire off a plugin request to the native side. We have the Android Java plugin map 
query via the config XML. So, what does the final under Java plugin class look like? We what gets dispatched to the plugin via JavaScript exit function gets passed into the plugin class execute method. Must execute implements look like this. Okay, blah blah blah. We use the slider. We compare action parameter that I've read in. Okay, the script in the web view does not run on the UI thread. It runs on the web core thread. The execute method also runs on the web core thread. If you need to interact with the UI, you should use the following. Okay, this sounds like something that I need to consider because I am using UI here in my plugin. If deep equals action and final duration and all and on UI thread. Hmm, this, is, this looks nice. Okay, use the player. If you do not need to run the UI thread, but do not want to block the web port thread, ta ta ta. What's the difference? Oh, this is the difference. Run on the UI thread and Executing that code. Okay, so by uh, using echo, okay, I will have to um, change that. Uh, okay, so here's an example code for plugin, and uh, the class inherits from whatever plugin. Uh, oh, I'll copy the name. We'll create a new class here. New class. Uh, super class will be for the plugin. And I will call the packet will be com.nova.talk. And I will call it my. to start with a capital letter pattern. Okay, I will uh what do I want to Okay, looks good. We'll press finish now. Okay, uh, there are some arrows here. I will change my config file with the capital M. Let's see why I have errors. Okay, so I will change it to all the parts of the right paper plugin. You know what? No. Just copy the import from the code yes. to fix my problem yes. okay. uh, not worrying about the warning here I will use them definitely later okay so I have to override <coughs> the execute function I will use the simple uh, code and investigate it and have tips. Okay. Okay, there are arrows here, so I need to add a little bit. Okay, what the what will be triggered is the execute function. Okay, so if action equals echo, I have this message, uh, the first argument in the in this array. Then I will call the echo function here. 
which uh, checks that the message is in null and it's, uh, it has a valid length and I will echo it back with, with success uh, or uh, call the error uh, <coughs> callback function I don't understand quite why should we use this and then return to a close ok, I guess I will understand better now it's time to use the javascript uh, code that I signed for this uh, in the previous post and the conga official website ok so I have a plugin javascript example window echo is the function for over exit ta, 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 ta. ok so this is like the prototyping function so I have my dream Reaper project and uh, right in the beginning of this and I will use it under the index html uh, no, put it in the world okay. And I will copy the usage of this function. Okay, looks uh, looks good. Need to check it on my uh, phone. But uh, this is the first try. I will continue my video post later if I will see some problems or notes. Thank you.